bunch of malarkey. This is not you know the, the real Joe Biden. It's important that you save your vote for the November election. That was a robocall created with artificial intelligence software to sound like the U.S. president, but it was a fake intended to deceive as many as 25,000 voters in the recent New Hampshire primaries. Authorities investigated and they charged a Texas man. It's providing us a, a real life example of an attempt to use AI to interfere with an election. But AI is also being used by political actors in legitimate ways. A new US-based product called Votivate, for example, uses AI to help campaigns quickly find potential voters, analyze voter data, and help get out the vote. While AI use in US politics, both good and bad, is on the increase, it's still at the beginning stages in Canada. I don't think Canadian political parties are there yet. Um, I think, and I, I, to be quite honest, I don't know of any party that is really investing in that space aggressively right now. Dean Tester's firm helps political clients, one of which is, for example, the Saskatchewan party, use digital tools for voter outreach. He's using AI for some basic tasks. We primarily use artificial intelligence as an accelerator, so help us speed up the research process, speed up the writing process, it helps us identify. Uh, generate ideas. The big fear though is that a rogue actor in Canada will try something like that Biden robocall to deceive voters. In the US, authorities this month moved to ban all AI robocalls and several states are already regulating AI use in politics. In Canada though, parliamentarians are only just starting to consider potential regulations. We're obviously very concerned as should every member of parliament or person running for a provincial legislature be concerned uh, about the potential inappropriate use of artificial intelligence. There are three provincial elections this year in New Brunswick, Saskatchewan and British Columbia and election authorities in all three provinces say they are alert to the misuse of AI and they'll have voter education campaigns to guard against any disruption. David Aiken, Global News, Ottawa.